Good afternoon, and welcome to a conversation about the Georgia Bar. I am Iana Benjamin, your host. Here's a proud disclaimer before we get started. I'm a proud graduate of Florida Coastal School of Law, class of 2013, and I'm now an admissions counselor here at Florida Coastal School of Law. I thoroughly enjoy counseling students about Florida Coastal School of Law's admissions process. I am pleased to have as my guest today, Professor Melissa Cull. Professor Melissa Cull is an instructor for the Georgia Bar course here on campus. Before joining Florida Coastal School of Law as a faculty member in 2010, Professor Cull was an assistant state's attorney. In her role as a prosecutor, she tried many misdemeanor cases, felony cases, special assault cases, and homicide cases. Professor Cull also worked as a criminal defense attorney. Beyond criminal law, Professor Cull clerked for bankruptcy judge, the Honorable Jerry A. Funk. She also worked in the civil practice capacity in the areas of real estate, guardianship, and probate. It's an honor to interview her today on all things Georgia Bar related. Welcome, Professor Cull. Let's dive right into the questions, Professor Cull. So how does the Georgia Bar differ from the Florida Bar? Well, the Florida Bar tests students using 100 multiple choice questions and three essay questions. And in Florida, the students are given one hour to complete each essay question. In Georgia, students are tested using essay questions only. In the morning, the Georgia Bar provides students with two multi-performance tests. Multi-performance tests, more commonly referred to as MPTs, uh, provide students with everything they need. The students are given the law and the facts and asked to write a legal memorandum in response to the law and facts they are given. The students are merely supposed to bring their organizational writing and analytical skills to the table. Uh, Georgia Bar gives the students two MPT exams in the morning. Uh, so the students are required to uh, divide the time equally and use 90 minutes to write the first MPT and 90 minutes to write the second MPT. After a lunch break, the Georgia bar takers return to the Georgia bar exam and are given four essay questions. Mm -hmm. In Georgia, the students have 45 minutes to complete each essay question. The essay questions may be single subject or multi-subject, and the Georgia bar examiners stress that organization is very important when answering those questions. So I know in fall 2016, Florida Coastal School of Law initiated a Georgia bar prep course. Tell us more about that course and how it's formatted. Okay, well, our Georgia bar class is taught online. Uh, sometimes our students like to take advantage of our third year at home program. Mm -hmm. yes. So they will maybe return to Georgia and then they are able to take the Georgia bar class online. Uh, I have selected topics to cover from the frequently tested topics list published by Barbary, the bar prep class uh, of the most frequently tested topics by Georgia. And I lecture on those topics and I provide the students with essays and multiple, excuse me, multi-performance tests. I use previously published questions by the Georgia bar examiners and I use previously published questions by the uh, multi-performance test writers, and I also write my own essays for both the essay questions and the multi-performance test. This way the students have, uh, before they start their official bar prep, they have the opportunity to learn the Georgia distinctions um, that are most frequently tested and practice their essay skills. I comment and return all of their essays to them so that they receive feedback, not only on whether or not the law is correct, but on their formatting and organizational skills. Oh, wow, that's great. So what advice can you offer to students who think that one day they want to take that Georgia bar? Uh, in your first year, take your legal writing and research classes very seriously. Um, embrace writing as a lawyer, embrace the IRAC formula, which means identify the issue of law, state the rule of law, apply the law to the facts that you're given, and then conclude. I would also advise students to um, obviously embrace the Georgia law, and it's important to learn the law and really understand the Georgia distinctions and the Georgia law. Three, I would encourage students to uh, 
work on their organizational skills, as I said, embrace the IRAC method and work on their analy legal analysis because the Georgia bar examiners state that they really uh, look for that legal and analytical skills when they are reading the uh, essays. Four, I would suggest that the students really take advantage of the Georgia Bar website. The Georgia Bar examiners have provided a lot of information on the website. They have everything from all of the past exams on the website to a video by a Georgia Bar examiner who helps write and grade the tests, a lecture by her explaining what they look for on the test. And as I mentioned previously, she mentions organization five or six times in her lecture. And lastly, I would suggest that students attend Florida Coastal and take my Georgia Bar Prep class. Thank you for taking the time, Professor. And this concludes our conversations about the Georgia Bar.